Kip, let's talk about that middle class famous tour, baby. Uh, I think you're talking about Buffalo, Pittsburgh, and Detroit. That's right. We're going to be coming to Buffalo, jumping on a table. Detroit, we're going to be hanging out with Eminem. And Pittsburgh, we're going to do a little coal mining. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, get your tickets. It's a great way to introduce your boys or your gals to the show. Bring grab the squad. A, grab a crew. Send it out in a group text. It's uh, me and Foley, each co-headline, T-Bone's on the show. We're bringing our boy Tom Cassidy, and we close it out with a little live AYG with the crowd. You've seen Eclipse. You know what we're doing. Get those tickies. The link's in the description. Do it. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? A little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out they're good to be classy. Yeah. Or they're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, 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 trash. I'm your host, Dave Trolley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Ann Tootie's basement. She's upstairs starting to go fund me. Yeah. Getting some implants. Okay. <laughs> I'm she started listening. a website for it. Uh-huh. Tootiesnewknockers.com. Are we going to have to buy that now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. He's the CEO of Are You Garbage? He's an international businessman. The boys on Wall Street call him the gambler because <laughs> he likes free drinks. Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. <laughs> not, I was working on that all weekend. Not, this is amazing. I'm not sure I get it. What's up, everybody? Well, they give you free drinks when, you're when you gamble. I got it. <laughs> But if you're on the Patreon, you know he stinks at it. Uh, what's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video. This one is off the fucking track. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... True to roof. Thank you. And I'm contractually obligated to say uh, the greatest website of all time. You should get on over there. You should God check damn. it the fuck out. It's www.patreon.com. Slash The boys are fucking cooking. Everything but water skis over there. Uh-huh. It's a fucking good time. How about a quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the magic man makes us all look good. We love him. You love him. Yeah. Give it up for T-Bone McButtons, Thomas McMullen. <laughs> What's up? What's up, T-Bone? <laughs> Literally had a whole conversation of just like, can you just say Toby McMullen? You, <laughs> me, you fat piece of shit. Yeah. I said your whole proper name. I always forget your middle name. Yeah, but that's my government name, bro. That's where people I owe money to. Yeah. That's how I screen my calls. I don't need anybody looking for me. Yeah. What God the fuck? It. I had a whole thing. I was going to go got a nice Popeye with KFC. <laughs> Feels like a neighbor. We've never had a Popeye before. Yeah, this is our first Popeye. He's dropping, yeah. I like it's it. dropping. He's dropping in. I said Ben Kenobi, you fuck. What are you doing to me? <laughs> I got this psycho looking for me. Obi-Wan, come here. Gang, we couldn't be more excited to have our incredibly special guest back, back, back with us again today. He's family at this point. Mm-hmm. I mean, I just straight up invited myself on. He did. No, what do you mean? Uh, We've been trying to set it up for a week. You've no, been but, I, doing but, this? but even setting that I up, I just said Tom you guys. I car out of the studio. <laughs> <laughs> I said, KFC's coming. Beat we, it. We got the kid coming in. We were Woo! midway through an episode. I said, yeah, come on, stop by. We're here. Joe Walter in there from Scarsdale for this. Yeah. <laughs> Gang, he is the brains behind One Minute Man Sensation. I fucked that up. Yeah, you were working piece on it. Of shit. You were you were working on it. <laughs> it was the one minute man. Do I just say one minute man? And instead it went minute man. I wasn't calling you the one minute man. Manuna man. I'm the I'm the brains behind one minute man, or I am the one minute man. He's but you went with both. You went the brains of the Manuna man. He's the brains behind the viral sensation one minute man. There you go. I like that. Of course, the host of KFC Radio, ladies and gentlemen, Kevin. Francis Clancy. AFC. It only took you three tries, too. (laughs) For the listener, we're sitting here before we record and having a nice conversation, a little bit of gossip, some hot gossip flying around. He's over here Googling what the name of the one man the one minute man videos are. He's a professional broadcaster. I don't want him thinking bad of me. No, well, he, I he does never. after that. Ah, <laughs> never, 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 never. Happy to be back. Uh, yeah, buddy. That, tell us more about how microdosing doesn't affect you. Yeah. <laughs> We're on the microdose good. train? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Micro, macro, whatever they got. <laughs> <laughs> whatever I can afford that day. Woo, no <laughs> shit. Shout out to them. How, uh, how was your Memorial Day? How's the summer? What's the scoop? Bro, I am anti-summer. Really? And it's because of fucking days like this, dude. It's a hot I one in uh, hot heat. one in the city today. Ninety six is like I don't get why when it's like zero degrees, people are kind of like you know you got to stay inside. It's you know it's snowing and it's zero degrees. Like sure, just why just, not the reverse. Well, yeah. 
this over 92, pack it in. Done. Everybody and goes I would home even argue over 85. I, I mean, usually over 85 is a little I, crazy. Over, <laughs> I Dude, that's hate like, it. You still have a sweater well, on. I'm 79. I'll see you guys <laughs> yeah. on Monday. Well, what do you keep your apartment at? This is probably a good what garbage question. What do I keep the apartment at? Yeah, it's 32 degrees yeah, in it's there whatever, right It's whatever the yeah. window units will get down to. Fuck what yeah. it is. Like, I, I have a very busted thermostat. I don't think it's well, very accurate. you live in a, a house, right? I live in a two-family house. Yeah, but so like it's, it's like a, an apartment. Okay. It's not like I... No, it, do you have yes. one floor? I didn't it, know this. Two-family I, I live home. in the second story of a two-family house, basically. Oh, what are the Cunninghams live downstairs? Uh, uh, they, they're just this older couple. They're they're lovely. They're uh, are they the owners? No, it's uh, so I got lucky when when I split up uh, with my wife. We sold the house, and then I needed a place to live. And my like family friend is a uh, a landlord and like a contractor and shit. Got nice. It. So I got this place. It's in the hood. It's garbage, but it's uh it's big. It's like a big three bedroom, second floor. I hate the walk up. Uh, it's it's definitely garbage in that sense, but, but do you it's, have window units or central? No, air? but so I got the central yeah, air. Yeah, there central. you go. Is so, it digital or is it one of those no, old no, school safe I got crackers. the digi. I got the digi going. <laughs> he's so got I your ear to it here in the clicks. <laughs> like he's got a stethoscope it's like, it's on like it. Like I'm, uh, like I'm cracking a safe. Yeah. You know, I, I gotta get, get down there. to 84. Yeah. <laughs> no, Two but I clicks past 14. Shit. I go 66. I go 62. I'll go with the window units typically go down to 62. And if you but live in the a, city, yeah, you got to. Oh, if I have a window unit, I go to the lowest. Yeah, thing. which 100%. is typically 60. When I go to the uh, when I go to the uh, the the hotel, I go as low as Everything it goes. Down. We went to a, a hotel recently and I it just kept going. And I think it hit like 51 <laughs> or 49. And I was like, I was filming it because every time I go to the, a, a hotel, the first thing I do is let's check it out. And it was like 61, 58, 57. And I was Fuck like, yeah. folks, we're yeah. going into no man's land. Yeah. Like no one. <laughs> the like, room the starts frontier. shaking. Yeah. yeah. No, no man has ever gone this low. <laughs> Uh, Two things I do when I walk in a hotel room: drop the fucking AC all the way down and throw on A and E. Whatever's love fucking that. Playing. I also love they, anything anything on actual old school cable. Oh, flipping yeah. channels. I'll Channel watch surfing. anything. A nice and I never understood. I guess they just had the bar so low. You're just happy to anything. go. I'm away from home. I yeah. you just traveled. You just got to a bed. You go. I don't care what's on. Just give me fucking something. Mm. Have mm. you ever ordered the hotel porn? No, you got your phone. What am I doing? Yeah, yeah but that's, that's what crazy. I mean. Like, I mean, old like days pre, have you, yeah. pre smartphone. Part of me wants to almost do that next time, like 1999 for like a softcore porn. Like, let's do it. Build yeah, the bar charge stool. It to the, yeah, <laughs> charge it to the man. But I, you know what I used to love that they don't, they don't do anymore? Uh, the robe. I used to pop the hotel robe it's, on. What do you mean? Pan. I got robes. Oh, I have, I have now, my last like three have not had it. Do you throw the privacy th sign on the door? That's the third thing um, I do. I guess I don't, but... Uh, Always. Keep yeah, it moving. I would. You know what? I, I don't go on any vacations, so like the last few times I'm in a hotel, it's for work, and I'm just like, I get there, I go to our show, I sleep there, and I leave. Like, there isn't much downtime. Yeah, that's, but, I, uh, I do it I'm, off the rip. Yeah, I would, put, I would put it up if I was hanging out. You know, housekeeping? Nope. Come back mm -hmm. later. I'm always the come back later What's guy. What's the KFC summer vacation looking like? Yeah, man, not Nothing, much. Right? Um, not much, dude. Not <laughs> much. This guy's a stick in the mud. Yeah, no, no. You know what? I'm, you got to take, take the kids take somewhere. Kids also, to, you know, yeah, so a couple years ago, we went, we went down to uh, the Jersey Shore. Last minute, went to Bradley Beach. It was lovely, man. Nice. Kind of, kind of. That's exactly it. It's sandwiched in between. I want to say like maybe let's say Asbury and like more towards like the Manasquan. You okay. Know? So it's kind of like in between the good ones, mm -hmm. the popular ones. But mm -hmm. I'm like, ain't nothing hey, wrong okay with, with that. With my kids, I'm like, they don't give, they don't know, they're young, they don't give a fuck. You don't have to have something lined up by now. Like, hey, this yeah, is no, the probably, thing. probably. So it's probably, it's probably Wait. too late. <laughs> yeah, it's probably too late. But I was thinking about maybe just like. Uh, I just work so fucking much, man. But I was going to try to grab a house in like an Airbnb in August and bring the kids down for like a long weekend or something. Down like that. Sure. Cause yeah. Uh, w yeah. I would probably go Jersey. Uh, what I do though, no great adventure, no uh, Dorney park. They're still too young Dude, for doing that. Doing that at 96 degrees yeah. in August fucking bro. sucks. <laughs> not, not Standing in a line sweating uh, to go into a pool. Bro, or a little such food a poisoning dude. from some funnel cake. Uh, even like I'm at the point like outdoor weddings and shit. Even when it's like kind of nice out. If I'm moving and dancing and it's outside and there's sun and it's above like 60, I'm a problem. Yeah. yeah. So oh, I'm yeah. like, I'm a much, I'm an indoor, I'm, I'm, I'm. Indoor you know, cat. I have a brand, Barstool Indoors. I yeah, am, yeah, yeah. I'm an indoor guy where I can control it. And I got my fridge and my TV, and we can have a grand old time there. I don't I went, hate it. I went to a wedding one time in the summer. It was like the middle of July. They had the tents and all that shit set outside, but you couldn't go into the place. There was no relief. Oh, no, fuck that. Fucking took fuck that, that envelope. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Right See back you in later. <laughs> Thanks for crab cakes. What I game. did just buy, and I'm interested to know if this is garbage, is... I'm going to go out on a limb and say, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, when my kids... I don't know. Uh, maybe not. When what are you doing this summer? Nothing. When yeah. my kids were... <laughs> going to the Poconos. <laughs> 
<laughs> not even on a lake. <laughs> Or just on a on the just side the of woods. a cliff, yeah. Yeah. an Airbnb for a long weekend. <laughs> Yikes, man! Why do I feel like that's gonna be by the airport, if just, dude? If that's not single dad vacation, <laughs> shit, I don't thing, know man. what. It, you're making grilled cheeses on the ironing board. <laughs> yeah, <and shit. laughs> with, a, with a cigarette hanging out of your mouth. Bro. What's your mom saying? <laughs> Big Holy time shit. single dad vibes. We also, I did. I mean, I know that because so I had us. We, my we also, dad. Uh, <laughs> my family lives on in uh, City Island in the Bronx. Yeah, and at the end of the block is the beach. Yeah, there and, you go. And it's like probably the size of this room, mm -hmm. the beach, and we belong to a club. <laughs> to get in there. <laughs> it's yeah, literally yeah, yeah. a gate and then like private uh, uh, public bathrooms and the beach. Yeah, and we yeah, have yeah. to belong to the club there. That's but awesome. the kids are able to like go down. They think it's amazing. Yeah, there you Very go. Very funny. We're, we're, they're literally digging in the, the grimy, you know, Long Island sound. And they're oh. like, the beach, it's amazing. Uh -huh. You stay at your folks' house when you go out by. there. Yeah. You stay at your folks when you go out there? Uh, it's it's like it's on the 20 street. minutes away. So yeah, like, that's yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. That's I mean, uh, it, no, it's not perfect. It's just something that the, <laughs> something that a six year old and a four year old don't know any better. You know what's really trashy? They put out a good king crab leg up there, though. Let me show you something though. For the, for the even the middle of the Bronx, it's I, nice. What do you mean? I, City Island's beautiful. I I was in. You know, I went like you know, fucking look how clear this water is, man. That's clean ass water. That's not bad. For being in the fucking... You can see your feet. You can see your... Let me look at that. Toes. That's in his basement. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> Goddamn sump pump went again. <laughs> that was my first experience when I bought a house. So before this apartment was the first time uh, I bought a house in the suburbs. And we're trying to be in the nice neighborhood, so we're sacrificing you know, the, the house itself. Sure, to be in the... And we, were, we, we walked the basement... We see that there's two sump pumps, big red flag. But, two sump pumps? But everything was like clean. That's like otherwise. it is in hers. Right. What is it, the Titanic? So, what the fuck? Right. It was. How brother, much water are you expect? Holy, let me tell you something, brother. I swear this thing took on more water than, than the Titanic. It was, Jesus. And, and it was at the bottom of a hill, at the bottom of a hill. <laughs> at the bottom of and a cliff we, we in had, a coffin. We did, we did the contractor. We did the inspection. Everyone was kind of like, yeah, you know, you'll get some. Mm -hmm. Brother, a, a sprinkle. And it was fucking flooded. flooded. And uh, I, and it's funny because this I used guy's to below the water table in West. <laughs> we, we, I, I, I tried. A, they, they blew the levees. <laughs> <laughs> when I, I, the deck, I, kids. I, I asked them to like uh, I had a, a person come and I said like what what could we do to fix this move and they said we would have to they, they said it would be like at least a hundred grand. To, you'd have to put it so, on like stilts or something. Put, put a dam in. The, 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 the driveway. <laughs> I don't know, get about 3,000 beavers. <laughs> <laughs> the driveway went down, right? And then there was a garage. And they said we would have needed to fill in with cement all of like the, the driveway the, yeah, up so to the ceiling of the garage. So, I mean, I, it must have been like a, a zillion tons of cement hmm. to fix this problem. So the solution was move. But me being the idiot that I am and this, this like, slave I to making... I see you showing that. Yeah, it's perfect. I swear so to God. So this is what happened. <laughs> you so need the seven sump pumps. So. I uh, filmed for social media, like, all of my exploits. Mm -hmm. Squeegeeing water into the sump pump. Me in these big yellow boots. I'm a homeowner now. Of course, it's scary when me. it fills up with water. I think you figure you're going to electrocute and it down it, here. Oh, I don't and, like and that at all. it just keeps going, and I was like, uh... And so the joke was in, I'm so ill-equipped to be a, a homeowner... Filming these videos and everything. Time comes, we gotta sell the house. I delete all those, obviously. <laughs> guy who comes Wash through the internet. Guy who comes through <laughs> went to college with me, knows me, uh, knows the videos and everything. And you I'm, didn't say nothing. And he goes to me so like, this is what's funny. That was all the production I was yeah, doing. No, down no, there. but this is this is where we, we brought played. that water in from the river. I, I I got my my legal hat on. He said, um, <laughs> what he, he worded it as. Um, has it gotten any better? And technically, it did. We took a couple steps. We fixed the pump. Sure. We, we changed a couple so things. So it has it had got, gotten, gotten better, better from the and, existing and, and, condition. And I was kind of like, you saw these videos, That's homeboy. That's true. And he bought it, and they already sold it. It was like a couple, you know, they were there for a couple years, too. I mean, it's it, it needs to be condemned. It's a fucking, it's garbage. That's awesome. So, 
honestly, even though I'm in the hood in an apartment right now, is better than than you know below sea level. In, sure, in that's the, a tough the, look. Have you yeah. ever peed in a sump pump? That's a pa- that's a great move in high school or college. You're in a basement drinking. Oh yeah, open up that little door, go to the corner, and just fucking one let it the, rip in the sump. Pump. One of the top I'm five places of spiders to pee. coming out. Yeah, that is yeah, one hundred percent spiders, huh? So yeah. I just, I just moved into a new place, and I have a question for you as as a guy who's gone from house to an apartment. Is there anything in your apartment that makes you feel elevated that you're like, ooh, that's a nice touch for me? Like a uh, air fryer or anything like that. I did recently get an air fryer. We got. We I just yeah, caved. We, yeah. It's. I know you were like were staunchly we, we against it. I love it. It is so good. It's, great, yeah, it's, all right. it's just I made the best know. steak bites I've ever had in my <laughs> and, fucking and life. Le- leftovers can become a thing now. You know, it used to be like oh, this is soggy. This is gross. Now you can crisp it up. It's nice. Um, bro. My apartment's so trash. I've been waiting. This is this was my divorce. He doesn't house. have bed bugs. This How does that? My, yeah. yeah, yeah, right. That's what he did. Like, th- like this place. <laughs> let me let me let me explain it. Because it, it is nice now, but the when I when when the landlord when the the, first, the last person moved out, like when Mrs. Doubtfire my, got her place, my landlord told me who was my my family friend. He said there was four hundred fish tanks in the apartment. When he, oh, like I'd he, rather move back are under you the water. Up, me? Like he went up, like uh, you know, all right, the person's out. I gotta like renovate, paint some walls and shit. He said he had to walk, oh. like, like excuse me. I just me, smelled like, it. Out. Were they up? Was the water in uh, it? I think some of them had, but like I think most of them were just. Was empty. it just Did fish or was it fish? also like no, I thought like uh, no, 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 no. I, I think it was. I, I think most of them were literally just the tank. Like he was collecting the the. I don't even know what. Uh, but so he he cleared it all out before you fucking. This guy stinks at picking property. So he, he cleaned it all out and everything, but then I move in. This is like single dad house to the max, and I'm just trying to get to the finish line it was an with this bar tub. stool money, and then I can fucking you know move on. Was the <laughs> waiting for the <laughs> waiting for that check to clear, baby? <laughs> because I'm not gonna go. You know what I mean? I don't want to move a couple times. Of course, so I gotta 100%. wait for this so I can go get somewhere nice. So I am just like limping to the finish line here. So your answer is no, my friend. There is nothing in my apartment. The fish tanks, dude. I would. That, I'd rather have the place be haunted. Yeah, that's, that's weird, wild. right? That is a weird Do one. Do you have anything planned for when your, you know, your number does come in? Are you uh, looking? I'm thinking what I want to do. Are you do? thinking like a ranch, or you know what I mean? You want to? <laughs> do you want to like Yellowstone it? Do you want to like high rise it? Like or just like a house in the burb? Like what I do you think? think I want a. Uh, I think the move for me is gonna be. I never understand people who are like, I got 10 bedrooms and 25 bathrooms. Sure. Like, Unless you got fucking 30 people living there. Mm-hmm. So I think I'm going to go like on. a are smaller we, that, place. Are we, huh? are we in that realm? No, 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 no. But I'm saying like, I, nice I, to know. I, I, I'd, I'd rather get a smaller place that's like tricked out. Like yeah. new, modern, everything. 500 fish tanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like motorized blinds? Like yeah, that kind motorized, of I, want, I want motorized blinds. I want heated floors. I want two dishwashers. Heated floors. Two nice. dishwashers. Two dishwashers. In the same kitchen? They're right fucking next to each other. So I don't what? Know. Because I think, that's I new money. Right right brilliant. Brilliant. This was a bird thing. Yes, it's a and life I changer. I think it's been debunked. No. Yeah. No. What do you the, mean the, two okay, dishwashers? Okay, so the theory for? is you have two dishwashers and you never have to empty the dishwasher. One gets full, right? You run it. And then you fill the other one, and then mm-hmm. that one's done. Yeah, you just, just keep going back and forth. So you're yeah, just taking as the... long as you you still have to run it and and like move something. But like, I so think... you're just taking the plates out of the dishwasher. Yeah, I think it's crazy. which is like the ultimate trash move. Putting I do plates it, but... into the fucking cabinet makes no sense to me. Next thing you know, there's a thing that holds it. It cleans it. You take it out. You eat it. You put it into the other one. When that's full, you're running. I get that. It's you kind can't of like get away with that as a dad. It's never sure, gonna I pull that off. Never gonna flow. That that. That's like still it, kind of has to be perfect. I agree, and then it, it's it's one of those. It's and like, then also you got to go right in the dishwasher, and you need two lines. You're gonna need two lines, two different yeah, water yeah, lines. Listen, uh, the money's coming in, big man. You ask me what the question is. What am I gonna spend it on? Two lines of water. That's what I'm spending it on. High roller. He's not working for E-Bombs World, all right? <laughs> the last time you were in here, I believe you said you had a TV on the floor. Yes, is it so still on the floor? I was about to bring that up again when you said, is there anything I'm proud of? I, I have a TV on the wall that broke four years ago. Mm-hmm. I took my other TV. I put it right underneath it. So Wait, I got so you have a broken your Did we talk about TV. this? That's yeah. It. Oh, yeah. we did. Okay, that's yeah, crazy. Bro- broken TV that's probably like a 60-incher that's on the wall. Uh, and I don't want to do anything, take, take it, it off, off yeah. and figure it out. So I just no, took you, my other TV. You need a handy. You need like the, yeah. we, we yeah. talked about this. The $40 handyman mm-hmm. comes over for an hour and a half, 
Yeah. Zip, zap, zoom. Yeah, I right. understand you don't want to move and deal with that, but it's not like you're putting in a pool. Get rid of the broken TV. I also TV. have a it's, a, it's a good low rent. I don't want to be the, the needy tenant, the mm-hmm. bothering, you know, guy. So I just kind of fly I'm under just, the radar. I'm just, like I said, limping Jesus into the finish Christ, line, brother. Dude, holy <laughs> This guy's in a bad way. I don't want to cause any people. trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Pipes are burst in the house. Can you do Where it, were you thinking? Jersey here, New York. No, no, no. It's just, it, it'll be Westchester. That's where. Because that to him, are. as a you know, growing up in the you know in the. Bronx. I was in the Bronx and Westchester growing yeah, up. That's, so yeah, that's that's where you that's go. where you want to go. Yeah. Okay. So right now they're in like Bronxville, which is you know. Ah, very Denver. nice. I know Bronxville. Yeah. Bronxville and, and in, Scarsdale look exactly the same with that. Like Some those yeah. Tudor buildings, right? Yeah, yeah. That's, it's, it's real super nice. That's real the money. Bronx that's old money. Bronxville, like proper, because you know, there's always a thing. You know, I'm sure you guys know people who are like, I live. I have the address on, sure. but it's not the real town. I have a Manhattan sure. address, and he, I am not technically yeah. a Manhattan. It's like we, we okay. live in Bronx. He's not reading the New Yorker. The- yeah, <laughs> I'm not running in the park every morning. All right, boys. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's talk about them Helix mattresses. Helix, baby. I know you know what I'm talking about because you got one. They sent you one for free. Mm-hmm. You liked it so much that you bought one on your own with promo code garbage. <laughs> you better, better believe I double dipped, huh? Woo! Go over there, take the quiz. They find out whether you sleep hot, sleep cold. Whatever you need, they got you straightened out. You don't got to walk around at the a department store. You don't got to walk around a mattress store like a bozo. Yeah, listen. Plain I, and simple. We said it 10,000 times because Helix is the best. Me and my, me and my bird, we uh, we took the two minutes, two, three minutes sleep quiz. Got that Twilight model. And I got to tell you, when Kippy go night, night, he go night, night. Okay? A little twinkle toes. Dicky, dicky, dicky. I'm out cold in my <laughs> In my little skivvies and my sleeping jeans. Sleeps like, a, <laughs> <laughs> sleeps like a dead man in a river. Woo! Yikes. Guys, I'm telling you. Listen, we got a lot of bozos out there, right? I was a bozo too till I got a Helix mattress. It's the best sleep I've ever had. It's my first adult mattress. Mm-hmm. I was always like, hey, you got an old mattress? Pulling it from the trash, the dumpster, using my brother's old one. My cousin's getting ready. Anybody need a Queens? I'll take it. If you want to yeah. get a proof for a mortgage, get a Helix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bring, bring the score up a little bit. <laughs> the Kippy guarantee your life will turn around once you get a, <laughs> once you get a Helix. Just go to helixsleep.com slash garbage. Take the two-minute sleep quiz. They'll yeah. match it with a custom mattress yeah. for the best sleep of your life. Uh, they have a 10-year warranty, and you get to try it for 100 nights risk-free. They'll even pick, pick it up for you if you don't love it, but I'm telling you, you will. They even have financing options and flexible payment plans, so a great night's sleep is never far away. Mm-mm. Here it is. Here's the turkey, baby. <laughs> Helix sleep. <laughs> Helix sleep. <laughs> Helix sleep. What's the turkey? <laughs> I gotta get through this, big man. Come on. <laughs> We're not getting paid by the second over here. <laughs> Helix is offering up. Helix is offering up to two hundred dollars off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash garbage. One more time, that's helixsleep.com slash garbage. Do it. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about movement. Movement. Just movement. a couple of guys that were trying to make it in the world. Sounds like two guys I know. 100%. They started a watch company. They made them better. They made them cheaper than the other guy. Now mm-hmm. they're blowing up all over the place. You got to get on movement. It's fantastic. Yeah. It's Boncos. You might be thinking, what color is it? I think I don't expect it colors. Yeah. Are they fair prices or the fairest prices? prices? Are they clean original designs? They're the cleanest and most original designs you're going to see. Top quality. Movement. MVMP. Top Write it down. Get a tattooed State on your the asshole. Art. Do something. One of the fastest growing balance shipped to over 160 countries across the globe, Look at baby. That. They've expanded into blue light glasses, sleek jewelry, and even more style essentials that don't break the bank. All designed out of our California headquarters. That's right. My we girl- got a lot of homies and bozos out there, too. My girlfriend wears those glasses when she's on her computer. Yeah. That's, it Watch helps it. with the eyes. It gives it reduces stress, makes you sleep better the whole nine yards. I wear them when I'm watching my movies. They sent me a watch and the glasses, too. I got my cool, fancy watch. It's like a nice uh, kind of tan thing. I wear one. I call it. It's I got wear a canvas one. bracelets. Yeah, real, I wear real one. Real light, real sharp. When I go out to dinner, my fancy dinners, Ooh. I go, excuse me, you know what time... You know what time it is, by the way? Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Why are you asking for the time? You got to watch it. <laughs> Just to show it. Flex it. These waiters don't know what's up. <laughs> uh, guys, this is it, though. Uh, I think it's 830. Let me check. <laughs> the turkey. We want to talk about the turkey. This is the turkey. Uh, Movement is having a huge site-wide sale for Father's Day. Their prices are slashed up to 40% Whoa. from May 31st to June 17th. So Whoa. we're in the thick of it right now, baby. Go check it out. Get the old sh- man something nice. Make sure you get the perfect gift for your dad uh, from classic watches to or adventure watches. Or stepdad. Watch- or stepdad. Shout out, Joe. Um, They have quality modern watches at a fair price. Super durable sunglasses. The whole nine yards. Yeah. Shop up to 40% off for Father's Day. 
uh, and save big on the perfect gift for dad. Join the movement by going to MVMT.com slash garbage. Enjoy 40% off. Again, that's MVMT.com slash garbage. Now back to that show. Yeah. Turkey. So uh, the, if you're in like Bronxville, like proper Bronxville Manor, whatever the fuck it is, I think it's like literally top three in the country. Yeah, it's like money, it's, money, yeah. Goodell lives there. Roger Goodell. Damn. Like big, big money. Good, so I'll be good. next door in the hood in Mount Vernon. Uh-huh. Thank you very much. Would you much. do a pool? Uh, yeah, I think so. Well, nice. we, 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 we grew up pool people big time. Nice. Um, Two car garage? Um, probably not. No. Landscaper? Yeah, for sure. Landscaper, electrician, plumber. My goal in life has always been to make enough money to pay people to do the things for me. I don't do them. And you got a about. car in mind? Yeah. I know you are a Hyundai man, which is a tough look. Upgrade but to I just, a I, Ford he's, Explorer. He's in a Ford Explorer now. hey which is which is good. It's, it's so good. 1996. That was, a, that was another <laughs> Eddie Bauer edition. Only got oh, Eddie only Bauer. got eight only got eight hundred thousand miles on it. <laughs> Purrs like a kitten. No, I, I so the, the the Hyundai experience was a wild one because I. Because everybody knows I'm a Kia man the, myself. <laughs> yeah, you, you you're rolling in it. Doing you know. Right. Doing couple right. thousand Does anybody patrons, say anything if they see you driving around in that? Do they ever say it's Oh, Kia? let me tell you something. So I had. The, what are you the, delivering pizza? I mean, for me, it's on brand. My 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 podcast is about trash, and I'm driving. In a Kia. Listen, the experience I have with cars. So I have the Hyundai, right? I'm, it's time to turn it in, and I got some nicks and some bumps and some. It's bruises. SUV esque, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it's is. like a midsize SUV. Ah, and I got what some is it? Things. Wait, what did the uh, Tuscan? Tucson. 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 Jesus Christ! I'm sorry, it's named a culture city in Arizona. A little bit of culture, please. Visit Arizona and understand it's Tucson. When the you Tucson. do the videos in the car, I'm like, what the fuck I is know. that? It looks like you're in a Geo Tracker. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> You're I, like you're like stuck in traffic. There's I'm history like, in this car. I, I thought I thought it was like a a car he just kept to shoot videos <laughs> in to make it seem like he was still a man of the people. <laughs> and then he hopped into a helicopter no. and flew to Barstool HQ. I know what's Sadly, going on. Sadly, I am a man of the people in that regard. I mean, this car had history. I was pushing it in the like on days that it would break down. I'm filming myself while I push it was to it safety. Bought or leased? Leased. So the lease is coming up. Wait, it would br- like on your way into bars, it would break down. No, with one specific time. Uh, one, That's what, criminal. I, let me ask you this. You guys, <laughs> are you a car guy? You, no. Any of you car guys? All right. To me, when the fucking light goes on, I'll I'll try to fix it, right? Really? Maybe, well, right? I Some, not, no, I don't mean like me personally. I mean like You'll the light pay, comes yeah. on, now there's a problem. Yeah, sure. of course. The, like... Uh, uh, a lot of times I go, or that's a fuse or whatever, yeah, and then yeah, yeah. I'll oh, drive for another 100K. So, but this, no lights ever came on. I bring it in. They're like, you didn't change the oil. I was like, well, I didn't fucking, you, you know, change me the, the light, oil. So I didn't change the oil. Uh, it was it was probably. So you ran out overdue. of oil. So I like, gr- like drove it into the ground with the oil, right? So it was like making noise. It was bad. I've right? done that to my but Chevy to me, Lumina back I, in the day. I, I, yeah, you, when you were in college, you know when something, when it's out of oil, you, dude, you feel you, it. You, you know. know something. But it went up. from like, it was making some noise and and then it was like, gunk, 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 and it just kicked out. I, yeah, listen, now I know I got to change it regularly. If the light doesn't go on, I don't do anything. I, I understand that too. You know if, you're I mean? not, if it's not something you're like thinking about and you go, oh, I will be prompted Mm-hmm. To ch- like oil life five percent, like all right, let me go. Also, in that. my mind, I was like, it wasn't that long ago. This is for everything. I don't in think my Hyundai's life. have that technology, though. You know what I mean? Because my Kia doesn't either. I went, I, I didn't change it for like five or like six, eight thousand miles, and I was like, oh fuck, it never prompted me. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's no warning light in that thing. That's what I'm saying, though. It's like I don't fix shit unless it's fucking broken, and uh, this was broken. Sure. So you know things like that. Anyway, now you're in a Ford you have Explorer. A car. No, but so I, I, I so you so the car is, is banged up. And I, I give it to a, I have a friend who has a, a shop. He was like, I'll fix it for you. So when you turn it in, you don't have to pay for any of these little damages or whatever. Turned out one of the pieces was like more broken than we thought on the grill and we needed to order it. And I knew about this supply chain and shit. Mm-hmm. Bro. Jam job. I was there. No, not even. He was a good guy. I was just, it was just in the shop for three months. Yeah. It was two, two months. What are you laughing at? <laughs> That's just trying to piece together. The fucking... grill was busted. <laughs> so, so I, so the, I had like four cars <laughs> in a matter of two months because I had a rental, but the rental ran out after thirty days. Then I had to. Uh, then I was basically ri- like, I was riding dirty. I had Enterprise on my ass, being like, "You got to bring this car back." And I was like, "Yeah, yeah." Next Dude, my dad did so that. They were showing up awesome. to find the car. Yeah. So he had it for like how six many days months. did you push it? Oh, I, I probably went over probably like three weeks with but it. Can't they just <laughs> three yeah weeks? yeah? And can't then, they just and charge then, you for it? So they yeah, were but they, charging well, they for it, but back. they dog. My buddy was an Uber driver. He leased through Uber. He couldn't 
afford the payments. He just left it at a gas station <laughs> <laughs> and called Uber. It was like, it's at the Zitco on Halstead, man. That's, That's a good. move. Love yeah. it. You can keep the Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> That's the Louis bit. It's like, well, you're going to go get it. Yeah, it's your yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, like, I'm out of here. <laughs> no sweat off my back. Yeah. Uh, as as they were like, you got to bring it in. They were like, we can extend you. Don't worry. We're figuring it out. As that happens, my license expires. So now I got the DMV on my back. I've got Hyundai on my back because now it's time for the lease to, to expire. The DMV is like, your, your license expired. The car lease is expired. The rental car is expired. I'm sitting here <laughs> fighting for my fucking life, I'm fighting man. fighting a nine-front war over here. <laughs> I got and then, and then I got the, every bureaucrat on my ass. The, the, Putin the icing dirt on the cake, man. You asked me if people ever say anything to me. While this is all happening, my uncle... Is like I got you. We have a, a car you can borrow. You're riding a bike like you're Ricky borrowing Bobby. a car <laughs> because now so the, I get the it. rental so, yeah, is yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. The, my 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 insurance won't pay for any more rentals. So I got to rent a car two hundred dollars a day. You know I can't do this. I I got the money yet. Man, when the so insurance company turns their back on you. Two thousand. <laughs> 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 Listen, I can give you I can I can give you a neon for two days, but then that's all I can do. Well, I it wasn't much better. Back. It was a two thousand ten Prius. <sighs> Man, so you got to rep the upkeep. Exactly. Dude, you so, have like five billion impressions on the so internet. So I'm driving. And you're fucking Listen, driving. Listen, don't ever tell you. I, don't let anybody ever tell you I'm not the common man, all right? I'm keeping it real over Holy here. Holy shit. I go to the, keeping I, it real goes wrong. <laughs> yeah. AFC story. I go to the Mets game opening day. And uh, as we're leaving, I'm driving out of the parking lot. And you know when you're getting out of a, a, a ball game, if you drive there, it's like you just, you're just in dead traffic trying to get out of the parking lot. <laughs> it's a nightmare. And I see these guys because I have this silly Mets hat that I wear that my son bought me that's big and oversized. So they see, like, my hat, and they're like, yo, is that KFC? And I'm like, yeah, man, like, good win. You know, people are still Is he riding shit. a big wheel? What's and going then, on? <laughs> and then they go, it goes from so quick of, like, yo, man, like, love your shit. Are you driving a Prius? Jesus. What are they paying you at Barstool, man? And I'm sitting there like, like, please, can the traffic just go away? Can I drive around it? It's a bad, bad look. I've dude. always had the car and me has been a running thing at Barstool forever. I had a Fiat back in the day that I got made fun of relentlessly for. Who uh, buys a Fiat? Because you got $99 a month parking. Parking. Uh, the only other person Bingo, I know Bingo. who drove a Fiat did the same thing. So he I, it I was like able to six months of free zip, parking. Zip back and forth. We got a year on an Upper East Side of par- uh, parking garage that was usually like seven hundred dollars a month. We lived in West Chester, but couldn't turn it down. <laughs> <laughs> that was at Yonkers. It at was the a time. hell of a commute. But Holy I'm not a car yeah. guy though. So like, oh, and, and then and then the so when the lease expired, I went out there. I was thinking like I'll go to a couple dealerships. I'll do a little comparison. I'll get the car. Everyone was like, "You're not driving off the lot today. Are you nuts? There's no cars available." And I mm-hmm. knew it was bad, but they were like, "You can go a Kia, the Kia truck." Or uh, SUV, thousand dollars a month. Jeez. Damn. And they were like, and it'll be available in three weeks. I was like, suck my dick. That's crazy. So these guys I who I know, shout out to my guys at uh, All American Ford out in Jersey. Don't bleep that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Rockledge Kia man myself. <laughs> the fuck. Listen, it's City J- Island, JFP Kerback. That's how they, we do it they, here. They they hooked me up. FC they actually Kerbeck. told me how how, how shitty is this? They were like. Uh, in other years, if the world was a different place, we would just give you a car. Yeah. And he's like, but we can't, we just can't anymore. There's uh, supply issues and money yeah. issues and shit, so we can, can give you the friends and family. But they were like, ordinarily, we would just be like, can you post about us on social media? And here's your car. And I was like, Damn. fuck. Well, Any other year, that would have just been, you know, they give one to Pete Alonzo, they do it yeah, to these yeah, guys. Yeah. I would have I would have made the cut. Holy I would have been somebody. Shit. That was the thing. My, my, my friend was like, I was telling this whole saga to my friend, and he was like, don't, can't you just like get a car from somebody? Can't you use this? And I was sitting there like, yeah, maybe I should do that. Yeah. I don't parlay in enough of this, you know? In a monster <laughs> energy car. I don't like <laughs> Got the big. The, I got to drive around Times Square an hour a day, but that's it. <laughs> Other than that, we're good. Who's that in the Jack Link's car? What's going on? <laughs> so, you, what do you have? You have an Explorer. Ford Explorer, man. What's the year? New, brand new, 2023 or oh, 22. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's not a lease. Fantastic. I'm a lease guy. I, I'm going ri- to ride best. it into the ground mm-hmm. and then give it back, you know? There you go. Unless you're a real car guy where you have your heart set on something, which I just don't. I mean, I guess if I got this money, I you know, uh, what would be my dream car? I don't, even, I don't even have a dream car. Like, I can't even. Sure. I don't know. I like Audis. Maybe I get a nice Audi. I don't know. Fucking. Mm-hmm. It's I like not like I'd be like the 1967 yeah, Shelby GT either. with the racing strips. Like, I don't, you know. I like how you're talking about the money like you're a dock worker and like you're, it's like a Lottery. Yeah, so that's like when Bro. my number comes in. It's boy. coming. I mean, <laughs> uh, you know what? Is it though? Is it Foley? Is it? You look at some every time. Every time Barcel's back in the news, I'm like, I'm dodging a bullet here. <laughs> I just gotta make it to February 2023. Yeah. Please, fucking God. And I always got Portnoy being like, 
you know, I've made you rich beyond your wildest dreams. Like, no, not yet. I heard you yelling. Not fucking I saw yet. a clip of you yelling. You're like, well, I don't have it. Yeah, <laughs> when it's in my account, then. But yeah. until those days, I'm driving a Hyundai Tucson. Well, what what, is, what is the dream then? If you don't, if it's not a car, it's not like a super lavish place. He what told you, you two no, no. dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> His bozo. I want four refrigerators. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to <laughs> one for soda, one for candy. <laughs> gonna have to run it by the landlord, but he seems like a good guy. <laughs> I, I do have, like, so back to the house. I just want a house that's, like, I want it to just be exactly, you know, it's like I want my fridge in my living room near the TV. I want my, you know, like, I, I don't want it to be, like, a regular house. I want it to be, like, every fucking Who thing are you, I've ever Pee-wee wanted. Who you, Pee Wee Herman? What do you want to you know, do? That's what well, the you know kid what in saying? blank check did. You know what I, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean, though. Wait, what are you I'm talking so about? I'm so sick of the, just tr- tr- the traditional Kitchen home. and yeah, living room. Yeah, I don't want the oh kitchen. Oh, my God, dude. You can't do that. Be, You're a, I want it to be nuts? custom. I want it to be exactly what I want that's it to be. That's not custom, man. That's trash. Man. You want to put the refrigerator in the living room? Not that particular. What happens when the kids bring friends over? Yeah. You can't get your house on Pimp My Ride, I'll, I'll dude. Be, yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> that's exactly what I want. We He's got your, 20s in the windows. We put bathroom inside your living room, dog. We got the kitchen inside the bathroom inside the bedroom, dog. I heard you like dishwashers. Holy we got the dishwasher shit. in the bed, dog. <laughs> Fucking disco I heard you ball. like sports. There's a batting cage in the bedroom. <laughs> I mean, I don't have... I, I am a very simple man. The like, whole there's, thing, Ashton. It's not going to be a big... I've always said the... <laughs> 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 Thank you, Kevin. I appreciate that. So, uh, I've always said... Uh, I always just wanted enough money to have, like, a, a beach house. So, well, this is, I give was, me a, a I, second I was, house. You I know? was just down the shore, and I think... Uh, you can't afford. I can't. I mean, I can. I can't afford a house anywhere for the unless it's like the Poconos or something. But I think my move is going to buy. I'm going to buy a shore house first. Yeah, and then because uh, I have a really good deal on rent here and just rent, and then we've talked that about because that's what a lot of people in New York do because you can't afford to buy in New York. So they're like, yep. we buy a vacation home or a second home. Mm-hmm. You can first. rent it out a little yeah. bit, or if you, you don't you're have, just gaining equity. That's not a bad idea, especially if you got money and you don't. If you're not married or kids or all that shit yet, it's like you don't really need like the home in Westchester. You're oh, not yeah, worried yeah, about yeah. schools and no, shit yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah. So go get a house in the Hamptons. Go get a house in Jersey. You still live in your apartment. Wild, you North Wild, New Jersey, baby. Yeah, I was yeah. looking this weekend. So Went to an open house. Hold on. So I should keep my apartment in Queens. Pay the, and, and, and it's not that bad. And buy a house in Hawaii. There you go. Well, Can I mean, I that's that? a jump because it's going to take. Go. It's going to cost you three grand to get there every time. But you rent it out the other, you know, three hundred and sixty. Three hundred and sixty. Then days I a make year. the rules on Airbnb. <laughs> Smoke anywhere you want. Did I tell you the sh- the, the shirt was such a hit? Oh, thank at the you, Fillmore man. Thank you. People were like, oh my. I mean, everybody noticed it. It was great. Everybody pointing out the king. Did you tool around Philly a little bit? What'd you do? Uh, What'd you we see? we went to uh, the Barstool has a bar in Philly. Yeah, they just they just that, opened it. That oh, yeah. apparently, you know, I'll shoot you straight. When people are like, do you want to go to the Barstool bar? I was like, not really, to be honest. Let's go to like a real mm-hmm. company man. Huh? Party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're just talking about the stock tank, and you're right. over here drinking in a joint. Get in there, pump some fucking <laughs> yeah, drink, no shake shit. some hands. What are you doing? <laughs> fucking work their merch table or something. It's your children's future, for God's sake. Yeah. You're having a trash in the options. joint. Jesus. I've done enough. Done enough. Uh, but I, 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 everybody in Philly was like, no, no, no. Like, this is the bar we would go to anyway. Solid this is, bar, yeah. It's yeah. on San, Sansom. Not Sansom. S- Sansom. I always say it backwards. Uh, big, nice bar. Like, good vibes, good music, good good. Everything good. So we had a blast there. I but saw we the boys the next day, day, and they were talking very yeah, highly. Yeah, we had a bunch of you know Gillis and uh, the Stuff Island boys were all there. Mm-hmm. They said Shaw it was a good came spot. through. Yeah, it's it was cool. I mean, now granted, we were getting endless buckets of fucking seltzers and booze and beer, just you know, in the VIP. But it looked like you know it was it was a cool spot. So it would be so funny if you couldn't get the VIP in the <laughs> yeah. bar store. Somebody else had it. You're like, you know, what the fuck do you got to so, go around here? Feidelberg's so in there. Yeah, Feidelberg's in there. He's like, sorry, Duber full. <laughs> so listen. To, the whole Feilberg family. To show you how little we are, like, uh, like barstool money, like rich and and you know living the dream type shit. You've covered it so far. Feidelberg, yeah. <laughs> Feidelberg goes to me, like, oh, God, like this is gonna be such a big bill. I was like, I don't think we're paying. <laughs> yeah, we're at a barstool. <laughs> I was like, this is. But then I was like, but are we? Fuck, are we? Because we brought right. a lot of fucking buckets. Oh, uh, how mad and would then, you be? You get that? Oh, uh, I would have. But it not would, a but discount honestly, or that's nothing. Something that would have plus happened. An, to plus us, an like, automatic gratuity. Yeah. On that. Uh, so I said, like, I, I did, I did tip the waitress cash on the spot because I was like, someone's gonna fuck this girl and not give her her money. Mm-hmm. But I was like, oh my god. And we had to have a little powwow with the, the the general manager, being like, so is this taken care of? And he was like, 
Yeah. yeah dude, what? <laughs> you <laughs> fucking idiots. Man, you are a Because we're just, we're just not like those people. I don't know. It's of just course. Imposter yeah, yeah, yeah. syndrome or whatever. We're just not those guys. I love it. I don't think anything's going to change other than like, I'll be relaxed. I just won't worry. Like, the kids are good. The college is good. Sure. Like, I'm still going to be, you know. Fucking streaming Stranger Things. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about what about Mets box seats? I'm oh, not. There you go. No, you don't. You probably I don't, don't go like to going games. to the games. Yeah, like it on the TV. I don't go. We go. We He's go a bit of a to our events. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like anything. I love him, but he doesn't like anything. Sits in his like chair him. with his big Mets hat on. <laughs> yeah. so he's got a refrigerator right next to him. I mean, if I had a suite or something like that, but like. It's it's more about getting to the. Game. It's a lot, especially you in the city. Wow. If you live outside of the city, it's brutal, it's man. Brutal. So you're either gonna it's... drive in the traffic and, and all that shit, or or you know I'm not, I'm too rich to be taking public transit at this <laughs> yeah, point in my fantasy. So um, you know it's like Seinfeld has a box that he just like never is ever in in, si- in City Field. He has like hmm. this beautiful, you know, and it's like I guess maybe I would have one in case I wanted to go, but no, it's not that. It's uh, it's 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 like the nice beach house. I I will go. If I get a beach house, I will. That's where I will be. You mm-hmm. know, like yeah, most of the yeah, time, yeah. I can be there. there that's go. where I'm gonna live. You know, that'll be my dream. And the rest will be like, now I have money to pay these fucking bills. <laughs> yeah, <'Cause laughs> Lord knows there's a lot of them, man. The sump pump bills are adding up. <laughs> Let me. Uh... I forgot about that story already. That's insane. <laughs> All right, you ready for? I need the verdict. The oh, I mean, no, the bad, dude. I get the comfort. You're I tr- a titan of industry. I, what are I you know. doing? Dude, they're glitter. People too. know you so out these there. Were, so these were. This is. Uh, there's like a streetwear. It has wear. two shoe sizes on the bottom. It's a ten and a twelve. That's your fucking answer. <laughs> well, yeah. that's because that's it's men s- and women's. It's unisex. Uh, I'm surprised it didn't say whistle pig on the bottom of those. Yeah. So, to be quite honest. With hey, this. T-Bone, can you zoom in on my whistle pig Crocs? <laughs> So I, I, I'll be honest. Also, I kinda... whistle pig, hit me up. <laughs> could use, could use a couple. Throw that out. That's mine. <laughs> of, could use a couple of pig bucks floating around. A <laughs> couple I, of pork I, dollars. I, I bought it kind of as a joke. And what this is, the reason why it's like shiny and shit. There's a, a streetwear and like sneaker designer uh, called Jeff Staple, and he made these. These are the New York City edition. So you know when the, the sidewalk has the sparkles sure, and shit. Yeah, yeah, the gold, and yeah. his thing is he has the pigeon. That's like his logo. I, so he designed these, right? So I, I kind of get them. Clem is another guy at Barstool who is he's leading the the Crocs charge. He's like, yeah, listen, you're gonna talk your shit, you're gonna make mm-hmm. fun of it, you're gonna slide them on, you're gonna love them, and it's exactly what happened. And now it's the summer, and it's I'm always like, what do I? I don't like flip flops. Not a flip flop guy. Your feet sweating in there? No, because look, man, it's got the fucking you know, it's got the air condition in there. It's got the. I holes. don't know, man. I don't. I I get like if you run to the store or something, yeah, I'll give yeah, you yeah, that. Yeah. But like, that's what most of them you're are working doing. right now. Yeah. You just you just traverse the city. Yeah. Well, Where, I got my indoors and my outdoors. You know what I mean? I'm that I don't gonna... like it. That's I, I don't like them. I'll, I can never do them. So yeah, you didn't buy them at the ne- Never say never. Because I was that guy. Buddy. I was that guy. You're, I was I'm, this guy too. I'm so I was the guy who was like, no, and, and I was no this idea. guy too. I, I mean, I have a, I have 115 pairs of sneakers in my house. I the, the one that's the one thing I I, I buy is sneakers, sneakers, right? Yeah. And so I was the ultimate and limited like, edition fucking, Crocs. Now I'm like, you know what? I don't know. I can't do it. I tried to get away with it for for about 10 minutes. There's one sitting right there. Yeah, the other for one. Real? Who knows yeah, where the other one is? is? Why you, you didn't like it? But they fucking made fun of me. It gave me an eating disorder. What are you talking so, about? It was ridiculed. So he so was you like them? It was crazy. I but didn't. you just. I feel like well, I'm, if you don't like them, I feel like I'm standing story. in a ball pit. They're real squishy. <laughs> I don't like it. Yeah. Well, so you didn't get those at the Croc store. That was like a custom job. No, no, it's not a custom for me. He he. So this is the other thing too. Everyone makes fun you of Crocs, were talking right? Up like you knew the guy. No, no, no. Well, I mean, I know who he is. He's like famous, <laughs> sure. but he, but he put them on. You know, he bought them on sale. I, yeah, yeah, this I, is I didn't, definitely your most garbage appearance. I know I this is that. crazy. I, well, I, I wore them. Shit. I'm ready. I, I came in with everything. I'm coming in hot. Uh, um, so I was like, why don't we do a, a collab with Crocs, Barstool, and Crocs because. I wear them. Clem wears them. There's a bunch of guys at Barstool who are like, we don't fucking care what you guys think. We're going to wear these comfortable shoes. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was thinking to myself, Crocs would be like, oh, my God. Like, we love this. Like, sure. you got some young audience. you got some guys that, you know, the people who always say I would never wear it. If the Barstool guys saw it, maybe they would. I'm thinking they're going to roll out the red carpet. Laughed in our fucking really? face. Said, maybe, maybe we will talk to you, have a conversation with you in two years. Because the next five, six, seven, eight seasons, we are already uh, like booked up with like huge collaborations or whatever, yeah. with Balenciaga. Oh, so Crocs yeah. is like 
Go ahead, make fun of us all you want. Yeah. We're busy working with like Italian, you know, fashion houses. Sure. The fuck sure. out of here. What about a full I, they croc? They are the Nickelback of of of. Uh, <laughs> they are. They of, are of shoes. How about a full croc suit? Well, what do you guys think? Huh? <laughs> Why stop there? Right. Just become. Uh, but this is definitely a part uh, of like I've given up. Great. You know, I'm a single yeah, dad. Yeah, that like, to me, and that I think that's the scary part to me. The second I. I don't like. I don't wear sweatpants in public. I'm like very. Oh, you're, you're, in, hold on, pussy. you're in shape though, so you get you're away such with a pussy. more. This is the time, like like uh-uh. five years ago, athleisure became a thing where you can wear joggers and sweatpants and shit in public, and it's like cool. But I you un- missed the window. He wouldn't look like that in I, those. Exactly. You got you got good legs. You're still you're still. My legs are all right. Let's bro. not get fucking crazy. <laughs> are you kidding what me? What are we doing, dude? Me you got nursing him. home legs. My what are legs are all right. Me and you were the same. I'm yeah. skinny fat. I'm not every, I'm not impressive. You hear that, Tubby? No, he's huh? tall. He, he's Let's modest. Let's get some of that porcelain money and get out of here, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> he's taller What's and so slender. Big? He can pull it off. You no, can't pull Nobody's off. looking at me being like, you look great in those fucking you know, sweatpants and Crocs. It's just that it's like when Kanye <laughs> came along. Dude, I wear jeans to happened. fly. I refuse to wear sweatpants really? on the plane. I'm jeans in case I go in case something. In case, so here, I don't know. Me, okay, let me I ask you this. Prepa- I, you hear your is, family at the it? funeral. You know they found him in sweatpants. Oh, dude, yeah. my uncle Dan would be in the back like, yeah, heard, 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 he's wearing sweatpants in public. He was in, he was in basketball shorts. If, I don't if know. this isn't what they he had call, it coming, uh, yeah. fucking um, main character syndrome, I think they call it, where they, you know, you like who. You think people are looking at you whether no. you're wearing jeans or sweatpants no, being it's like not that? I, it's more of a mental thing of like I'm working. Like it, it doesn't make any sense. I don't know. No, I get it. It's like you know, I'm to you know, each their own. But <laughs> to me, should, it'd be like showing up to a construction like, site and it. like New Balances. You're that just like doesn't work. You should you know get know over I mean? this, bro. Let me ask you this. You should get over this. I agree, oh. dude. I, I moved in a swimsuit this weekend. I'm that's down a little different. I was gonna ask him. I was gonna ask him if he's wearing a bathing suit. I uh, legit was. No, Lululemon. Do you own a bathing okay. suit? Yeah, you, go uh, to the you can get it all at the Barstool store. Oh, store that's, not store. <laughs> that's not fair. That's not fair. Three new colorways. No, no, no. Three new colorways. He's selling everything. Without the net, by the way. I hate the net. Yeah, no net. Yeah, I'll cut a net if I have to. Always cut so the they net. Just, you don't have to do that anymore. Always no cut net. the net. No net of mine. So Always. Like board shorts. Board shorts. But they're not, because board shorts are now out of style. They're too long and shit like that. You know, we work this job, this life. To not have to, of course, dress sure, up in business casual and look, you know. So and, and then and then along comes athleisure and Kanye West and all these people who say that sweatpants and hoodies and all that shit are cool and stylish and fashionable. Fucking, li- this is the time. I, I get it. I get it. I j- yeah. Because you know what? In, tough, in, in another you know seven eight ten years, where they're gonna be like, now nah, you gotta wear a full suit everywhere you go or some bullshit. That's what this I'm talking about. Out of denim or something yeah. something sturdy. Feidelberg like, something is wearing, uncomfortable. Feidelberg currently. <laughs> well, not maybe not because the summer, but this spring was wearing corduroy pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That were. Huge. They were baggy. It looked like a skateboarder huge. in Seattle in the nineties. For a guy who you know was like, <laughs> for a guy who was like, you got to wear your you know skinny jeans with the peg at the bottom. You got to roll it up, and it's got to be this and that. Now he's like, well, you know, fashion changes. And now I wear fucking boat sails of. They of were I mean, he has like reams of fabric of corduroy on his legs. Mm-hmm. Like, fuck awesome. that. Just pop on your. Go to the bars. Oh, I respect it. <laughs> <laughs> what you want to do? It's two clicks away. Oh, <laughs> Did you have a cheesesteak or anything in Philly? So disappointing, man. I, uh, oh, I, I, uh, I, I, I used to live outside of Philly, so I, I know a little bit about the cheesesteak game. It's my favorite sandwich in the world. I don't know much about like as much about in the city because I was a kid and sure. I wasn't going in. It was more like we had our favorite spots in the suburbs: Appetite's Delight and Berwyn Pizza and some of these. And they're not famous, but they're my favorite yeah, spots. Yeah. Uh, I have a theory. I'm listening. That these these spots. We we were. Uh, where did I go? I want to say it was like a spinoff of gyms. Gyms in Old Town or something like that. Like gyms there's gyms, sit. but then there's another gyms, maybe. I don't know if there's multiple gyms. There's gyms on South, right? Yeah. That yeah. might have been it. Is that, gyms is on that South. the only gym? It's like a 50s like, diner a little yeah, bit. Okay. Yeah, it's like 4th uh, yeah, Street. I there's thought that upstairs. was like a second. Okay, yeah. so I went there. A lot of heroin addicts walking around. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and and it, it, all the ingredients are good and shit. It's fine. Mm-hmm. I think these places are so popular and they're moving so fast that they they put the cheese on the bread. And they put the bread on top of the hot meat, and that's supposed to give you like the melt. Sure. I need the cheese and the shredded meat mixed in and Which melted. Which is what up. you get in the Philadelphia suburbs. Yes. Yes. That to me, hundred percent, a thousand yeah, times 100%. better. I agree. Because what yeah. in the city you get the meat with a little bit of mm. melted cheese and then a little bit of like regular cheese, and sure. it's fine because you're still eating meat and cheese. It's a good sandwich. Yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah. Uh, to me, I want it's the soft roll, the gooey melted in cheese. The best one. Barry's steaks 
on Long Beach Island. <laughs> Barry's. Barry's. Do me a flavor. That's Barry's it's an Steak Place. <laughs> they came to Barstool. Barry. They're my, they're my absolute favorite, and it, it was originally one of these. Have they have like fifty one flavors of ice cream, and then uh-huh. they became a food place. They came to 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 Barstool with cases of cheesesteaks in like these NASA wrapped foil sure. things to keep them warm and all that. Even traveling, you know, two, three, three and a half hours from, from Long Beach Island, they were still fire. And that's because <laughs> like of that. the mix-in with the goo. There's a lot of places uh, such as Steve's, which I'm a fan of. Um, I was like in the Northeast, but then there was one in the Center City, but they closed during the pandemic. Uh, a lot of people say Steve's is the best. Obviously, it's debatable, but they do melted American. So they have a tub of hot Melted American. That's what you need. They just fucking yes. Right. Fuck, that's, I didn't that's, know that's, that. why I, yeah. that's why I exclusively you get, you go Wiz. Damn, you know, you I didn't know that. Wh- you get I, your cheese fries on the side with a side of melted American for the fries as well. What I are we doing? The, 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 the way if you can turn uh, the the American and even the provolone into the Wiz. Yeah, they do. I, I, the Wiz is. I don't know fine, if they do provolone, but, but like, I know they have American liquid. American. Provolone also gives you this the stretchy, gooey, yeah, yeah, stringy. Yeah. So you sure. can maybe com- do a little combo, but. I think a lot of the city places are either so big and they're going, you know, they're just like next, yeah, yeah, next, yeah. next, next. Quality, they're not taking quality the time to. Lowers, yeah, but it's, it's not even quality. It's just like because the meat and all that shit is quality ingredients. It's just that they don't take the, the assemb- time to. Yeah, sure. the yeah, the assembly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not made with love. You, you need some guy trying. hanging on by a thread. Yeah. Yeah. Just lost a lost a parlay. Yeah. Also, I'm a big I'm a big proponent of. You can go into pretty much, uh, you know, you can go into a lot of just like bodegas or corner their corner stores in in. Philly, get and, them there and get them there 100%. for like five six bucks, and Absolutely. you're like, it's fucking solid. Taught it's 100%. good. The sandwiches up here stink. I'm yeah, saying it right Manhattan now. is the delis in Manhattan. It's it's it, over. See, they do the Jewish delis, the cats. Well, the delis stop. They're shit. now bodegas. Yeah, but with I, like, like a deli go, counter, you go across the, the 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 river to Jersey, and you go to you like Hoboken, Jersey. I mean, they yeah, are yeah, yeah. sure Fiori's, Bianca Mano, Luca Brazzi's. They, the, the, the mozzarella that they make in Fiori's in Hoboken, oh, my God. Yeah. I could, you know, that's what I want. I want, I want, I want, I want that. I want, I want an deli. apartment made out of this fucking a mozzarella. Yes. Yeah, like, yeah. It's crazy how hard, you know, it's like if I'm in Manhattan, I'm going to like Lenny's, you know, like a chain. It's yeah, like yeah, Lenny's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Yikes. like what, what's like your good Italian go-to deli in Manhattan? They don't exist. No. Blimpy, you going to Blimpy? No, you know what? I'm a, I'm a I'm a subway do. guy if I'm going to one of those places. I'm with you. Be ever a Quiznos guy? Big Quiznos don't guy. I think that's a real trashy. Uh, don't think I've ever no, even seen it. Not, not big on the toasted sandwiches. No, me neither. I like the cold. Of course. Yeah. If you, you want your toasted? sandwich toasted? No, toasted I fucking subway. don't. Yeah, that's they almost trashy. automatically assume now. Yeah, they really Fuck do. You. Also, I don't. I T Bone's losing his shit over there. The, He's a toasted don't they, guy. T- don't, don't they just toast it in that oven? The one they run it through. Is all right, the, like the, the grill, like the, the rack. Yeah. That's a little different than throwing in that weird Subway microwave. Subway has a microwave yeah. that can that heat thing, up. It's a convection oven. That yeah. thing stinks. It's, Get it's, out of here. It's, it's, they put that like weird a, wax paper. Yeah, there's like a weird uh, mat or something on yeah, there. Yeah, the yeah. mat. With Duncan the, does with the, the same the shovel, thing. Shovel, like the, the, oh, the yeah, Duncan's, it's no good. I've said I've been on record. Duncan stinks in New York. They it know their way around a hash brown. It's yeah, but for food in New York City, the service. Okay. They're dirty, uh, but like they're, they're like fucking coffee like their coffee's not oh, great. Not coffee, guess so I wouldn't know that. Yeah. But to they're me, it's like stinks. when I see people getting like a egg sandwich at Dunkin', I'm like, well, that's on you, brother. Sure, yeah, you know, like the donuts right are fine, but you're getting if you're getting the hash browns are the hash, hash, browns, hash browns are good. They're bacon, egg, like, and cheese on a croissant. I wouldn't kick out of bed. I can say that right now. I'm supposed to do that maple bacon. Yeah, yeah, but it's made in a microwave. Yeah, the microwave. They just stand there with their hand on the microwave, waiting for it to beep. It's the worst fucking process ever. The thing at Subway. I don't know if they make them out of yoga mats. Whatever they make them out of, that bread is soft oh, and it yeah. smells intoxicating. And you put it in the uh, the microwave thing, and it becomes you know flaky and crispy. And it's like that's yeah, it's I want it soft. I understand. What's done your, right, a heated sandwich done right is certain well, ones. Yeah. What's your go to at Subway? Yeah. You ever fuck uh, with the crab salad or the tuna salad? Oh, that was a big debate. That was that farm. was a big debate uh, about a month ago. Feidelberg got a tuna. Sandwich. I'm all they, from, their tuna's awesome. You got a tuna. Wasn't from, it not tuna? Did yeah, it come out. No, yeah, no, it's not. not. It's definitely what's not. what? It's come imitate. On. Yeah, it's like, not tuna. It's yeah. like dolphins and bottle caps. Yeah. <laughs> the tuna is There's disgusting. an earring in here. He ate it when he was like hungover, and then he had like it left over, and he, he and, and he's complaining about his stomach hurting. I'm like. Yeah, yeah, you fucking think no. you're eating imit- imitation no, fish from it's Subway? Tuna. Come on, that's no, fake I think it news. came out and it was not. I could be wrong. It's got, no, it, it's, it's definitely is like one of those things where they can't, they don't call it tuna fish. They call yeah. it tuna. It's like, it's, it's like not fish. random meat with fish flake yeah. power yeah, or something. Smushed up. Yeah. yeah God damn it. They got I saw again. something. Uh, I saw a, a truck that overturned and like they said something like 
like that was in Philly. 1,500 pounds of hot dog filler. Hot dog fi- no, it was like 15,000 oh. tons of hot dogs. Yeah, that was yeah, disgusting. It was in Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. picture was unreal. Jesus. It was just like a big It looked like a mess. fat guy exploded. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Somebody hit a Foley on I-95. <laughs> Jackknife tractor trailer. No, my go-to would be um, when I go to the subway, it's either I do the Italian BMT, which is like an Italian combo. Yeah. I go with the, the sweet peppers, lettuce, tomato, and a fuck ton of oil vinegar. I want it to be like the bread is soggy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or I would do a uh, turkey American bacon, like a turkey club, basically. I respect it. With double bacon. Don't hate it. Double cheese. But that's where they always want to put it in. I'm like, no, microwave the bacon. Because one time I said, I don't want it. You don't want the Toasted, whole Sammy. Yeah. And they just, they just, but they didn't cook the fucking bacon. I'm like, you got to still cook the bacon. Can't get good help. They're not doing that. They must have looked at you like you were an alien. Come on. I mean, They're not making hot and cold sandwiches over on. there. No, if Christ. I'm going to a deli, though, like a real deli, chicken cutlet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm either doing chicken cutlet with mozzarella Something and balsamic, <laughs> or I'm doing like, uh, you know what's an underrated one that I rock with? Uh, Munster cheese. Chicken Love cutlet it. with Munster cheese. Don't you know what's making a comeback, a too? That Pepper Jack's doing Pepper Jack right. give a little bit of a bite. A lot of people, you know, a lot of people don't, don't, don't. They stick to like American or Swiss or whatever. It's a whole world of cheese out there. Whole, bro. whole. On the you ever go to Mary's are... cheese shop down there in a the village. Blow your fucking hair. Yeah, they got everything. Right? They got oh, everything. Man. They have a goat tomato cheese. Soup I don't have it on sandwiches, but goat cheese on appetizers oh, and all that yeah. shit. Love it's it. basically kind of like cream cheese. Yeah, it's like it. cream cheese that you're allowed to eat on other shit. Yeah. Oh, so underrated, man. Cheese uh, is where it's at. Subway lawsuit got thrown out because it, it was uh, the study that said it wasn't. The, the, the study said they didn't detect 100% tuna DNA, but it yeah. was after it was cooked. So that so it, that changes the the uh, DNA properties. So it was a bunk study. Also, I yeah, feel like the study so. should if be thrown out. If you cooked me, I'd come up as a human. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. <laughs> and I don't like that we have to go to a DNA test. Yeah. What is this, fucking Maury? What's going yeah, on? Yeah. <laughs> you are not the tuna. Yeah. Did they catch it on a boat? Did it look like a <laughs> fish? What are we also, doing to here? Me, I feel like they should throw out the thing. They should throw that out being like, we're throwing out the case. Because you're an asshole if you eat tuna fish from Subway. You, like, you know what I mean? Like, we're not, it's not like you're under the impression you're getting a five-star meal. Whether it's real or not, you know you're a dirt. If you're it a is dirt- not fish, you must acquit. <laughs> <laughs> we're all dirt balls Also, here. who takes that case on? That's crazy. Yeah, right? That's some Jackie Child shit. <laughs> That's great. Your face is my case. <laughs> The man's you a goblin. Know, you know that some guy was like, it's a class action. We got millions of people Let's in the tuna. Go. We're going to make, we're all going to be rich. Let's my, go. My, my boy called me and was like, yo, did your Facebook money come in? And I was like, what? He's like, from the from the lawsuit from three years ago. You didn't get in on There's that? There's a website you can go to and put your name and or something in. It'll tell you like anything you, you qualify for. Of, of like some I mean, hey, lawsuit. free money's free money. Or if but... this government owes you some money or like whatever, you can th- go throw your name in. See, that I don't like to do, though, because then I feel like I'm that's like on their radar. That's how you get, you, get you. Get yeah. out yeah. of that's, here. That's like when Keep a, the when money a, I didn't know I had. Yeah. All right? That's like when a teacher says like, I'll review... Your test, but then it's open to me reviewing everything. You know yeah, what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. It's like, I don't want you looking no. at, I'm good. I'll take the mesothelioma. Yeah. I don't yeah. care. <laughs> Keep it like a bank job, dude. Just don't toast my sandwich. I was laughing at the other day, I'm driving, and I see on the back of the bus, 1-800-DIVORCE. Mm-hmm. Like, if you're calling 1-800-DIVORCE yeah, for you're your divorce, up. you're losing. <laughs> like, you just just give her the house, bro. Like, you ain't winning. Dude, I forget where I was. I think we were, uh, we were, we were at a club, a club down south somewhere at a comedy club, and I was peeing in the bathroom. And over the urinal, they had like it was like a lawyer's advertisement, and it was like it was like Johnny the lawyer. Uh, it's like DUIs, two hundred ninety nine dollars. Yep. Domestic abuse, four hundred and nineteen dollars. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, all this shit. Divorce. I'm like, yeah, God yeah. damn, dude. This but dude you know really knows guys, his market. You know, there's a guy peeing like, yep, yep, yeah. yep, yep, and yep. Exactly. <laughs> Kill a dog, fifty eight dollars. <laughs> two for one deal right now this summer. <laughs> Beat up your neighbor's kid. <laughs> if you're a lawyer with a prefix menu, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> no <That's> substitutions. <laughs> oh, right, we got to do a couple of questions. Yeah, here. Do a couple, couple of cues. Yeah. Um, all right, this is one from. Uh, before we get started, you know what Turks and Caicos is by any chance? Yeah. Okay, just checking. T Bone, you stink. Um, T Bone had no that idea what it was. That was probably the fanciest thing I've ever done. I went, you went to, to like, Turks and Caicos. I went to like a five star. You went resort. to a furniture store. <laughs> Toby <laughs> thought Turks thought? and Caicos was a furniture no, store. No, I mall. made a joke. I was like, I was yeah, like, oh, well, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like Selena and Barnes, they're uh, you know a <laughs> legal duo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Turks Dude, and Caicos, like, it sounds like Pier 1 of 4. He's like, would you get an end table? We were like, we didn't even understand. We were like, what are you talking what do you about? Mean? I'm like, I, no, I went to like the most beautiful beach <laughs> yeah. in the world, I'm like, I've never asshole. lived in a world where 
did somebody didn't understand. Yeah, that's that's a wild. I like how Salino and Barnes said that's an all inclusive and some yeah. character. Yeah. 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 We're taking a flight down to Salino and Barnes. If you go off season, you can get a good deal. Yo, <laughs> comment if you don't know what the fuck. If you never heard of Turks and bro, Caicos. there's gonna be not gonna be yeah. a single comment. You're just lining yourself up to get there's fucking not gonna, bamboozled. You think you're gonna win this argument? You lived in Florida too. This I, guy changed his Patreon name to Turks and Bozos. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you will, that's you will, one guy. You will lose. This argument harder than anyone's lost an internet internet argument yeah, ever. You're I mean, going this down. is crazy. It's like not knowing like the Bahamas. And that's coming from this guy. So you're yeah, really no shit. <laughs> you're really no in for it. shit. Holy I'm shit. I'm happy I came in with so much garbage because I was yeah. saying I'm like, blown my, my away. first appearance, I think you guys, it was like kissing your mother. It was like I'm not. It was a little I'm like yeah. I'm not garbage. Well, you also, didn't tell us this shit. Also, I didn't know you. I was we were real intimidated. We had fucking yeah. yeah now you know. We had brass from bars that you're stealing down. windshield wipers. Jesus Christ. Man, yeah. Those See, poor I'm, fans. Uh, one of the seen people you pull out of that stadium. cars off your uncle. <laughs> <laughs> I know he has a guy for yeah, everything. Garbage, a good man. thing, a good it friend is, of mine. It's a garbage life. Well, Shelly's not life. driving that much anymore, <laughs> so I guess you could. <laughs> Grandma, well, your cataracts. What are you crazy? <laughs> know, right. <laughs> Let me take the lawnmower. All right. This one is. Uh, this says went to see Top Gun with my grandpa, nice. and he Straight ate movie. his share of uh, the popcorn. I guess they split a bag. You know what I mean. He had a share of his popcorn using his hat as a bowl lined with napkins. I Trash like or innovation? I like it. I have a I feeling like you're it. on board with that. Absolutely. That's crazy. No, no, no. Like I'm, 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 he said his grandfather, right? Grandfather. That's what I'm on board with. Yeah. Just being when like, you're fuck a grandpa it, and you're matter. like, I'm wearing my Crocs so I got my hat bowl. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I'll put it, you know, I'll put it in my shirt like this. Yeah, he's yeah. not reaching his hand in the same bag that the kids are reaching into. I know that is that's cr- I don't know. Oh, you know what I got for you? I think this I would one. rather just do that. This one is gonna this is gonna up and the garbage on a whole bag. a whole extra level. I went to the movies to see Doctor Strange. So maybe what like a month ago, three weeks snuck ago. in. I uh, I ordered a glass of milk. Oh, I saw this. I did see that? We were tagged milk. in that. Mm-hmm. That's pretty crazy. Mm-hmm. But, but they had it. How do they have it? They have a whole menu, man. I mean, to be honest, wait, a whole menu of what? Dairy products? You can get like no, desserts, like you can order you whatever can get you food, want, yeah. you can get steak, you can get booze, you can get everything. Oh, okay. Well, and what? to be honest, the 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 milk came first, so I had a picture of just the milk. I was getting hot chocolate chip cookies. Is it so it's a little bit better, but for the content of it all, of I just course. said, look at me, I'm drinking milk at the that's movie wild, theater. That's a wild Milk at the movie theater is wild. That's is a that wild the Texas choice. Roadhouse or what's it it's called? It's called the Alamo. The Alamo, the Alamo Draft, Draft House. House. Alamo that's what you're thinking House. of. It's awesome, man. Yeah. It is, it's old school. Either. I mean, you can get like buffalo wings, and some of it's honestly a bit much. I don't want to go sit down and eat a fucking skirt steak at the movie theater. Yeah, I don't want to do that either. That's crazy to me. But for me, like... I'm also like pop. Who had the hanger right yeah. here? Yeah. Yeah. This is well. I asked for medium. You fucking third ball. <laughs> you you write it on this little piece of paper, and then you put like your. It's almost like uh, the Brazilian steakhouses where you put the red and the green. Which you are trash. Put the thing yeah. up. So, total trash. I haven't gone, but I want to. I love when that you know you can eat like endless fucking pounds of meats. Like I don't want to eat. Yeah. yeah, no. But they you can get like these cookies that come in like the cast iron skillet and you can, Ooh, so you can get some nice shit I like that you know rather than i i, I myself like it takes away from the movie no eh, i understand what you mean like you're like looking for the waiter you're like I no they're pretty good man because you, you just you do it you put it there and they kind of just run yeah, around it's a distraction though. it's a little bit it is a little bit but on the flip side you're getting like nice glass of milk yeah, <laughs> yeah. to me relax. you know i go to the movies i get sorry sorry I asked for two percent <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine sending something it, it back was, in the movie theater it was whole milk <laughs> i'm sure people yeah. are yeah <laughs> I'm sure. I almost did have a complaint. You know, they brought the milk, and then the cookies were like 20 minutes later, so the milk was warm. It was a whole thing. Oh, my God. No, but... Uh, but I'm trying uh, to be a dirt ball all at once. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm warm. a, I'm a uh, popcorn with Bunch of Crunch. When the milk That's gets my, warm, like though. The mix. Yeah, well, I, I just eat. Yeah. I, don't, I don't have to pour it in. Yeah. And then I'm with that, I'm drinking a gallon of soda. Yeah, of you know, course. I'm not doing milk. But when the, the milk gets warm, when the milk gets room temperature. I don't mind that, actually. Ooh. I'll still yeah. use it as Get a, a dip. fuzz on it. I'll st- oh. What? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't mind it. Oh, That's another, warm. you know, Feidelberg had, he, was, he had like the tuna sandwich, and then he drank spoiled milk, and then he had like... Chinese that was like five days old, and then he's like, "Ah, oh, my belly hurts." I'm like, yeah, he has a fucking. Well, he play, yeah, he plays he's his a shark. Own rules. Yeah, I told yeah, him, yeah. I said, if we slice you open, like license plates would fall out. <laughs> like that. that little Kittner boy would fall out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he had it coming. That's a deep cut. Yeah. 
Shout out to what was the question? Uh, <laughs> oh, the hat, the, the hat, hat bolt. You know. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm of the of the mind that once you are like 80, you're anything. Goes. I think you can do you can anything. Steal, you, want. you can eat out of your hat. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's, yeah, I want to go out doing I'm that. Getting on Roy, you're, you're doing you're mind. doing racial terms, you're doing <laughs> sexist terms, you're saying whatever you want. It's like I don't fucking know, man. Uh, that's good stuff. <laughs> What's next? What uh, all right, this one's from Husky Jeans. Never had a question. Red, have you or anyone in your family ever brought an air mattress to the beach? Bonus points if you took that bad boy in the water to catch some waves. Not a bad idea. Yeah. Also, many people chimed in and were like, best summer of my life, best beach trip yeah. ever that have done it. I have not, but it's like the wheels are spinning. Yeah. Just I to sit it on it on the beach would but be you gotta, nice. But you got to... Uh, I get that I if you have kids, you got to bring a, 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 a well, battery-powered pump with pump. it. A lot of yeah. them have like the battery-operated pump. The batteries. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, yeah, a lot of them, lot I mean, listen, if I could... blown it up like an asshole. Yeah. Yeah. But, you, but take it equally, to the, you take it to the gas station, then strap it to the top of the car. Equally, like you're sitting on the beach. Is... <laughs> yeah, it's a bad law. It's a bad That's law. garbage. Yeah. But I'm also like, when you go to the beach with kids now, it's like, gotta be whatever it is whatever that to can keep make them, them comfortable. Yeah. And keep them I don't from care not if it's loud and yeah. I'm obnoxious or whatever. It's like, we're, we're building this bed for my fucking kids. Mm -hmm. So they leave me the fuck alone, you know? I have to do it this weekend with my niece and nephew. Do I need to get a tent? I, I See, a tent? I do the tent. Because it's like, otherwise, I'm going to be putting sunblock on you 50 fucking you do times like, a second. Do you do like the tent you're gonna get like you'd be watching like a soccer game, like an intramural soccer game, or like a camping tent? No, no. Like uh, the... To be honest, I'm a pool guy. Sure, no surprise. Sure. So they go all out with their mom, but they do like a... The pot, like four sticks. Four sticks. That's what... Yeah, I was just at the beach. And, that's... That's the you gotta to hump go. that thing over. It's Dude, like it, fucking it, Norman. It packs but, but up even, and then you open it up. And you gotta it, it you gotta crank it in, corkscrew <laughs> it in so that it doesn't blow away. You got the stakes in the ground, and it's like you gotta fill up a but, bucket full of sand. Tie. You gotta anchor it. That's yeah, the big it, thing. It's that not thing takes off. You take yeah. out a family. Yeah, I'm just gonna take it to a bar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's. I mean, beach with the kids is brutal. Let's do this when you're 12. Dude, right now. I see dads. And then you get there, and they're like. Uh, I want to go. I'm like, fuck. Mm -hmm. I see fuck. moms and dads in the airport with like just bags and the kids. And it is. It's like, dude, I would fucking blow my brain. That's out. the main reason I got to get out of this joint, that I, the place I live in now, because I got to walk up the stairs. So I get both these kids fall asleep on the way home. Oh, yeah. I got two kids. I got the bag. I got the grocery bag. And I'm getting the keys out mm -hmm. to get in. It's like, you can't oh, leave one in the car, God. run one up. I just, sometimes I just leave them in there for the night. <laughs> <laughs> it's running. They're good. <laughs> Don't worry. It's a lease. My, on my Ford Explorer, <laughs> when I get out of the car now, it says boop, boop, and it says check okay, clear yeah, for it, it occupants. You know, oh, really? I know a guy, my buddy, he takes his shoe off, puts it in the back so he doesn't forget his kid. Because you get out of the car, you're like, oh, I don't have my shoe. That's back crazy. There. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah. Listen, I've heard that. That is crazy. I'm like, you're fucking, you're a <laughs> pussy, first of all. Just forget your kids, man. Whatever. I'm not taking my shoes off. You crazy? I, I can't. That's Thanks, not. Put a crock in the back? No, sir. But I, 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 uh, I mean, I've heard stories of guys Special like edition. go to work and don't realize their yeah, kids they forget in the car. The kids are in the back. And crazy. Like your baby's in the car because it was your turn to drop them off at school for the first time ever. But you get in the car and you just do your route to work and you get out of the car and you go and the baby's in the back. That can't be happening what that much. Fuck? I mean, I've heard the stories and I know they have the technology that, you know, to prevent it. But that's, you know. The fact that it's enough that that shit comes standard now that it just says check the back. Well, I shouldn't it come standard to get the, the, that you the remember instinct? your kids? Yeah. 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 I mean, you should be hardwired was... with that technology. <laughs> not, not, oh, my flip flop. What the fuck? How about I, the three year old? I thought it was one of those, like, I thought it was one of those urban legends like we got high on acid and we brought home a kid because we thought it was a troll. You ever hear that one? No. Uh, the story I heard and the hell all, you my doing friends, on the weekends? all my friends told me the same thing. It was like we went out, we dropped the acid for the first time on the walk home. We saw a, we saw a gnome and it was we a troll and we were playing with it. And we woke up in the morning and there was a baby in the in the living room. And I was, I was like, yeah, that's probably just the same story as the guy who leaves the baby. In, no. Sure. But I guess it's real. Hopefully. That's fucking Bonkos. <laughs> I'm just fucking emptying the clip on this episode. <laughs> We're talking about all sorts of shit. You're a dirtbag. All your friends are yeah. dirtbags. Jesus I don't, I don't, I don't make podcast appearances, really. That's so true. When I come through, it's like, what do you I feel honored. about? I'm just, yeah. I got a bunch of shit that I want to get off my chest. All right, this, this one cut me deep. This is from Lewis. Uh, long time, first time. Is it garbage you use the comforter set package as storage? For example, I have a bunch of random cables in there. Fuck yeah. Which I Fuck have. Oh, yeah. like not, clear, for the, not for yeah. the comforter. Yeah, like... You save that, don't clear, throw that out. bag. That's a quality bag. Dad, know, dude, dude, don't I throw got, that out. I got about three of them on my closet with like books and fucking clothes, anything in there. Put a big oh, sandwich I in just, there. I just remembered another thing you're going to kill me for. This is maybe one of the most garbage appearances from anybody ever. This is up your, yeah. We went yet. to Philly for our show a couple weeks ago. 
Also, go check out one of the KFC live shows. One hundred. Yeah, it, 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 it is. So it's it's really rounding into like a nice show. When we first started, we didn't know what we're doing. Now we, we did the one in New York. Yeah, just having Fantastic. stuff Island guys in yeah. Philly. Yeah. It's a, Do it's yourself a, fun a show. favor. It's a fun uh, time. It's a parte. Um, mm-hmm. So I have. Also, you said you had me on the. We were performing at the one in New York, and we couldn't even get in the fucking building. Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah. We're standing in line. We couldn't get in. You guys are on stage or about to go up, and we can't get in. And I'm like, I'm on the show. People are like, get me, big man. We you know, know Final Bird. <laughs> so one of the, the agents the, had to come the, out and the, get us. I was embarrassed. The folks in Philly lived up to their reputation, oh, man. Of it was I'm so sure. funny. We get to this spot and there's a girl in the ticket window and she's like, "Can I help you?" And I was like, "Cause we just walked in. It was early." Sure. And I was like, "We're we're on the show tonight." And she was like, "Great story." And I was like, "Oh, I just I just didn't want you thinking we're like we're just, people yeah. walking in." She said, "Great." No, story. no, but she but, but like, she was like, un- unimpressed, what? Yeah. And so I was like, "Okay, so we're gonna go." And then we get like to the next door at the theater. And this guy is like, whoa, like, whoa, whoa, where are you going? I was like, we're, we're part of the show again. He's like, we don't give a fuck. He's like, you got to go around all the way back. We walk in. There's another security guard who was like, yeah, whatever. It was just so Philly yeah, that it was like, yeah. we're all like, oh, hi. Like, we're so excited to be here tonight. And they're like, shut the fuck up. I don't know you, motherfucker. Keep yeah. it moving. Yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, anyway, I don't even know where I was fucking. Oh, oh, well, the reason why I'm, I'm extra garbage. So I have like nice luggage. Mm-hmm. What brand and then are you I, talking? Uh, oh, wait. Promo code KFC. Fucking guy. Everything he got is freebies. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, Jesus Christ. So uh, it's like a nice, like, sure. rolling they're, luggage, they're whatever, nice. right? Nice luggage. And, I have nice luggage. And, and then Wait, I have. You said that like you bought it. That's why I no, asked no, no, what no, brand. No, no, no. My yeah. point being, I have. I don't have. It was in the back of the rental car. I don't have anything in between. So I'm not, like, packing up fucking luggage to go mm-hmm. to Philly. And a lot of the. I, I used to have, like, nice duffel bags and shit that have kind of become. Kids bag, sure. I know, and so I got nothing. I don't even have a backpack anymore because that's where their fucking iPads go. The kids have taken everything from me. But I'm also just going for a night. Playing it cool, huh? This guy's losing (laughs) it. I'm going for just a night. And I just took a uh, shirt and some boxers Mm -hmm. and a pair of pants, tossed it in a reusable uh, grocery bag. The one you paid forty five cents for, or whatever. Yeah, they're awesome though. I mean, they're they're, they're better than the plastic bag. That's what you say. You don't look like such a dirt ball. We get to the place, and I, you know, we get we pull up in the you're Ford checking into the hotel like that. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like I grabbed the bag, the and Trace like, what bag? is that? And I was like, my my stuff. It's my clothes. And he was like, holy shit. I was that's like, a bad. I was look. like, yeah, I'm not proud of this one. Your tooth. And then he told it pocket. on stage, and I was like, motherfucker. Yeah, that's was like bad. that one. This one, I'm like sweating on stage, being like, God damn, this is really embarrassing. Yeah, that's I might. I gotta get a. I gotta get a duffel bag or some shit. The, the first two trips we took for live shows, Foley brought a tote bag instead of. I was a gonna say, you guys luggage. can't be fucking, you know, traveling the world. Yeah, but it was style a monogram. Either. It's gotten better because we, tr- we travel monogram. so much. Yeah, you got so it. it's like, I mean, the first couple of times, I remember yelling at Toby over something or something. I'm like, get a fucking duffel bag. We travel every week. Yeah, it's that's crazy. that's true. Uh, when I was a kid, I went on a, a, you know, we rarely didn't go on any long vacations, but I went, I think, with my girlfriend's family or another family, and like I had a bag that had like duct tape. You oh know, yeah. Like, <laughs> And my mom was like, "You just embarrassed the family. Like, you just like like sullied our family mm-hmm. name by going on a trip." But well, you that. see people checking into like a hotel or whatever. Like, on they have like the be- they have the luggage cart, and there's like plastic bags yeah, hanging from it, yeah. cooler, like yeah. all that stuff. Like, it's a bad look. loaf of bread. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes! Bag of glass. <laughs> all right. Oh man. Uh, all right. Let's see. Let's do one <laughs> more here, and then we gotta get out of here. Uh, this one's from uh, Murdoch. Were you ever the target of a "Whose kid is this?" when yelled in a crowd? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Wow. I don't think I've ever Just been squirting a- the ketchup yeah. into his mouth. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been a "Whose kid is this?" I've definitely caused a couple of. I've definitely been walked back to my mom. Being yeah. like, have you ever been like lost in the department store sort of thing? <laughs> Never really oh, yeah. lost. Yeah. Kmart no. yeah. still scars me. To this I was gonna day. say that's scary, man. Oh, it fucked that's a scary me up. one because it was the eighties and it was just around the time where that kid got snatched. John Walsh's kid, yeah. Adam, and they like brought. We had to go get fingerprinted and shit. I was like, all right, here we go. This is it. Because you, you, your mom fine. went this way, and you were really playing in between the clothes. I and think shit I was being right. a dick or something. Well, you get like distracted that. in a Kmart. You're like looking oh, at the toys man. a little yeah. bit longer. Listen, she goes to guy, the end of the aisle. You think she makes a left. She goes right. This fella making fun of me and my friends for losing the kid in the car. Your mom's losing you in fucking Kmart, huh? <laughs> it was too busy looking at. <laughs> she was in the, the smoking 80s. section. Yeah, they were too. all smoked <laughs> up back then. They were all taking lewds. What do you want from me? Who's who's good is this? Stuff? Have you have you yeah not lost a kid? But you, you know, has there been? I mean, we have. I just had one this weekend on the beach. We were there, and they were like, "Where's fucking yeah. Steve at?" And everyone's looking. You're like, "Oh, he's over there." I've had oh, a quick God. moment. Those of moments, everybody. And then yeah. I'm sitting there. I'm about six fucking hard seltzers deep. 
And I'm like, at what point do I I have to get up and start yeah, right, looking? You know right, what I mean? Right. Like, 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 at what whole point is everybody panicking? The beach and, and I'm like, like, all right, yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm out there. Let me finish this up. I'm, I'm out knock there. Knock back bo- a sandwich. Take a leak. I'm booking. And I'll boarding. be on. I'll be on the posse. <laughs> I'll be there about 45. Guys, we'll once these once kid. these once these swells die down, I'm gonna come help you look for the kid. <laughs> my mom, my mom got yelled at by I think a fireman or something like that. I stopped a parade in in my hometown. Cause you know, <laughs> it makes so much sense. I don't know why, but of course, stopped you did. the parade. You were like, it's like, it was the like street, a local like, small ah. parade. But you know, they they I don't know if they still do this, but they used to throw candy, like real shitty candy. And you ran out. Um, I ran out. I was in the front of a fucking uh, fire truck, just like, <laughs> like, 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 like 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 a like a like a dog throwing the tree. Like you I gotta get the candy. I got, I got it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like t- it was like Tiananmen Square. <laughs> 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 Just a picture of me in, in front, front of, the of like fire. the cheerleader float. <laughs> Literally, yeah. <laughs> the the guy shit. got out there like, "What's uh, going on?" Because it stopped the whole parade. <laughs> Whose fat kid is this? <laughs> <laughs> Whose <laughs> little <laughs> fat tub of lard is this guy? Oh, that is fucking funny. Yeah, man. my mom uh, running out. What the fuck? And grab me and rip me out of the street. I don't think I've had that yet. Uh, like a moth to a light. I'm a, a proponent of these. Uh, see some of these families from you know maybe from other countries that have. Leashes on the their leash, kids. yeah. But, I mean, um, we travel a lot. We see it in the ho- we see it in the airports a lot. More yeah. and more, I'm you like, you get it, brother? Because it's just like I think I had. If you're one alone up. and it's like you know, hold my hand. They're like, no, I don't want to hold your hand. Mm. Next thing you know, they're fucking walking in the street, and it's I like if I, could, if I just had a little bungee, like yoink, you know. The yeah. other day we almost got boom. This guy was whipping down the City Island Avenue in the Bronx. It was a uh, like drag racing a guy, a motorcycle and a car, and they were jawing at each other as they were going. We had the light. I had to like literally grab my kids and like, run back, out of yeah. the way. Jesus. And I was if I had a leash. <laughs> Fucking a reel it in. Like a fishing <laughs> rod. <laughs> see, a kid, you see a dog on a leash, no problem. You see a kid on a leash, I, I, uh, uh, it's hey. abuse. Uh, team leash. It's safety. I get it. I can kind of get it. <laughs> I just put up an electric fence around my house. What are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> you chuck Give him a zap. They're good. Before we go, we were talking about big crowds. I don't know why I got this vibe off of you. Have you ever put a girl on your shoulders no. at a concert? No. Bro. Yeah, again, he's not fun. I'm not. You know I mean? No, yeah. it's it's, it's he's, he's not a big chicken fight in the yeah. pool. Yes, guy. but I'm not. Uh, I'm I mean, not. that's a that's a rare kind of person that does. Yeah, that. I, I put you up there for a minute, and I'd be like, "Lady, I'm gassed." Yeah, the bird I'm, I'm usually the shows her titties. What, I'm the type of guy to get on her shoulders. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the KFC style. Pal. <laughs> Harry, check out these. Yeah. That's a very specific type of guy and girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. And I'm not either. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Usually find them at an Olive Garden. <laughs> Car show. <laughs> Baseball card store. Those those kind of typical places. Yeah. Buddy, we fucking love Gentlemen, you. Gentlemen, yeah. I, I feel like that was a therapy session. I need to get all Why? my garbage love out. It. I love it. I, 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 I forgot that was a pop bite. That was, he popped in. It was a pop in. That was, that was the first AYG pop in. That was like a confession. He gets yeah, like I need chest. to get it off, man. So I didn't mean to be so. Now I'm gonna back, go back to my like stunned. ivory tower. I'm gonna go. Get, <laughs> I'm gonna go have like a steak dinner tonight somewhere nice. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> uh, I'll have the plastic fork, please. Yeah. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Clancy. What do you want the folks out there to know? We got the bar stool. You know we got what? the KFC um, radio. If you go to. KFC Radio on any of our social media. I think there's about a hundred tickets left to our Chicago show. In a Chicago, couple weeks. go so that's out! Almost heavy. Sold out, go that's almost sold out. Go see them. It's it's a really good fun show. It's now a great with the time, whole gang. So there's like a hundred tickets left for that. Uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll be putting more on sale soon. Uh, we're gonna come to like the Ocean City area in se- late September. There's a music festival Ocean City, in some Maryland. Area. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah the, there's a nice. music festival going on with some of the guys from Barstool Plants. So we'll be in that. Uh, so KFC Radio on YouTube. KFC Barstool is where I put up uh, One Minute Man. Um, and yeah. Oh, and then uh, we got a Mets podcast that we're trying to grow. So if you're a baseball fan and a Mets fan, it's called We Gotta Believe. It's going to be a good year for the Metsies. Yes, it is. Not so much for the Philadelphia Not Phillies. So much. But we don't have I to talk about I said yesterday in the text, I wish you all the luck in the world. I know. That's that's very nice of you because I the wish. Phillies are out, he doesn't I do mean not. It. He's I, just trying to keep I, I, polite. I, yeah, no. Mm, I, I don't, don't wish. hate the Mets. Fuck you, man. I don't I hate, hate when people them. say that. It's like, why don't you hate them? I don't hate Fuck them. Fuck you. I enjoy them. We're, sure. I'm going to make like sure that, that you, you know hate I like them. Buck Show Walter. He's yeah, a good kid. Yeah, Uncle Buck, he's the man, dude. Not bad. Kippy, what do you got for him? Uh, we're going to be announcing more dates coming up. Oh, yeah. Uh, we have Buffalo, Detroit, and uh, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Come see us. Uh, come out. Oh, Buffalo, Detroit, Pittsburgh. That is some salt of the earth. That's funny. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the armpit that's of the, America, that's baby. Let's, let's, go. let's go. Yeah. Salt of the earth. Yeah. June, be nice and hot. Enjoy oh. that goddamn Patreon, baby. Yeah. Gang, we love you. We'll see you next week. Peace.